the governor of Lagos State, the economic capital of Nigeria, has made the wearing of masks compulsory to fight against the coronavirus. Lagos, the neighboring state of Ogun and the federal capital territory Abuja, have been placed since the end of March under total containment in order to stop the spread of the virus, which has officially caused to date 35 deaths for 1,182 confirmed cases in Nigeria, including 19 deaths for 689 cases in Lagos. We have made arrangements for the production of masks in large quantities for the people of Lagos State, as the statement said. A decision by President Muhammadu Buhari on the lifting or extension of this containment, which, may, which expires on Monday, is expected at any moment. The governor of Lagos has threatened penalties and sanctions for anyone who violates the requirement to wear a mask while the virus is spreading among the population, according to his spokesman. Joining us live via telephone is the Commissioner of Information for Lagos State, Benga Omotosho. Good morning, Mr. Omotosho. Good morning. Now, Commissioner, the numbers are increasing. Are you worried and what is the plan from here? Uh, well, it is not uh, unexpected. That is why we keep on uh, ramping up our preparations every day. So it's not unexpected. The experts have told us that it's going to increase and then uh, it will come down. All right. The Lagos state government have also mandated the compulsory use of masks. In your opinion, is this the solution we should expect anyways? Well, it's not. Uh, it's just one of the precautions that we have to take in order to arrest the spread of the disease. To cut the spread, right, uh, co Commissioner? I believe you can hear me. I can hear you. Okay. Now, to cut the spread of COVID nineteen, you would agree it's apparently a collective responsibility. You know, where the vulnerable and those on the margins of society are not able to provide masks for themselves. Uh, what happens as the implication is even those who have, uh, who are able to provide for themselves are also at risk by extension? Well, what we are trying to do is that the government has uh, announced, uh, the governor, Mr. Baike Sanwonu said the other day that we were at commissioned people to produce no less than 3 million face masks. But at this one cannot go around and that you will encourage private companies to provide for their workers. We will encourage uh, negotiators who can afford to, to provide for their neighbors, to provide so that everybody gets uh, one, one way or the other. We recognize also that the government is working out po policies, as you mentioned, and strateg as strategies also to flatten the curve. Uh, but what should we expect to see uh, what should we expect to see now uh, that will amount to a decline in the rising figures of infected persons in the state? Yeah, well, we have uh, in place now what we call uh, a lockdown imposed by the federal government, which uh, we uh, hope will be reviewed today because today is the uh, last day of the, of, of the 14 uh, day uh, lockdown uh, of the state. So uh, we had our own uh, plans before the lockdown. And we had our own, uh, uh, what we call the restrictions. And I think, uh, uh, I, I do not know what the federal government is going to do now, whether it's going to continue the lockdown or it's going to reverse it. But whatever happens, we have in place more plans to ensure that uh, we arrest the spread, uh, spread of this uh, disease. Uh, we keep on training our uh, headquarters. We keep on encouraging them. We keep on... Uh, doing advocacy, telling people what to do and what not to do. We keep on uh, rallying everybody. We keep on uh, turning up on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on uh, facilities that, uh, that we can use for people who are down with the disease. And we keep on uh, ramping up uh, our uh, ability to tackle it by the provision of more isolation centers. Mm. 
Uh, I mean, in the previously and since uh, we got into this, this situation, we've been having conversations uh, with doctors, with experts uh, on this matter. And they agree that we are at the stage of community transmission, which is quite dangerous. Now, how is this addressed, considering the fact that uh, there are communities who still live in denial and may not be as cautious? Well, what we are doing is uh, we have uh, been able to decentralize the sampling in the 20 local government areas now that's a center where people can have their samples uh, submitted for tests. So the testing has uh, improved. We are doing about 500 per day. And then, uh, like I said, we keep on enlightening people. We keep on doing advocacy and encouraging people who, has had, who have uh, had the experience of this uh, disease to come out and talk about it. And then uh, using traditional rulers, religious leaders, and uh, NGOs to educate our people that it is real and that uh, it's not uh, at the same time a death sentence. And that is something that uh, we all have to tackle together by taking responsibility. All right, Commissioner, let's move away now from uh, the issues of masks. At the last briefing presided by the governor, he gave an express permission for those who have their dead in the mortuaries to proceed and conduct funerals. Now, how certain are we that this will be conducted in the manner that meets standard practice and not a repeat of what we saw at the funeral of the late Abba Kiari? Uh, from, the, from what I have seen, the uh, majority of the Russians are very responsible people. They are very loyal people. They are people who have uh, shown that uh, this uh, battle is not for the government alone. That is a collective battle. And uh, they are people that I think, and I know, will be responsible. They will show a high degree of responsibility in this matter. And uh, what the government said is uh, very clear that uh, there should be no gatherings, there should be no parties. They, I mean, it should be sober. And that uh, this uh, directive is being given for the government to be able to decongest the inbox. And it did one that people should not misconstrue this to be that deaths are coronavirus related. They are not. So I feel that uh, the Russians, they know the, 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 the the, the result of uh, having large gatherings now, and that they are not going to do this because the law is against it. All right, Binga Omotosho, Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Lagos State, thank you for your time, and we say keep safe out there. Thank you.